Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. Now this particular Lightning is a Lariat model finished in star white metallic tri-coat. Has the 511A package, which is the high package for the Lariat Lightning, which includes the extended range battery. Cake and walk around the outside. We do have these full LED headlights with the LED light bar going across the top of the grill there. We also do have exposed front tow hooks, as well as your front parking sensors along the bottom of the bumper. We also have the 360 degree camera. So you have your front camera there with the washer jet beside it. Now if you look at the front end of the Lightning, similar to a regular F-150, although again, you do have the sort of fake looking grill because it doesn't require the same cooling that a you know, traditional engine does. Looking at the side profile here, uh, standard on the Lariat model, we do have these 20 inch carbonized gray painted wheels and it's on a all-terrain tire. So this is actually an upgraded uh, all-terrain tire. It's a 275-60 Hankook Dynapro tire. You also have your F-150 Lariat badge there on the side. Body colored mirrors on the Lariat model with the 360 degree camera right there and also the LED mirror spotlight as well as the blind spot system up there in the corner. You do get unique running boards for the Lightning. Yeah, I do have a light on the end there, which is certainly pretty cool. It lights up the side of your box. We also do have gloss black window surrounds. And looking at the rear end here, we do have the lightning badge right in the back with the sort of blue accent, which I think looks really, really good. We also have the power sliding rear window. We also do have full LED taillights with the F-150 badge right there in the middle. And part of the Lariat model, we do actually get the light bar going across the back uh, tailgate there to match the front. We have your reverse lights right there and also your rear view camera. We do have the max trailer tow package, um, but we do get a trailer tow hitch, which is standard as well as a seven pin and four pin connector. As well as the power tailgate. So it does go up and down uh, both uh, you know, power. So we also have the tailgate step with the tailgate work surface and also a spray and bed liner here. We do have part of the pro power onboard system, uh, which is standard across uh, every single lightning model. Uh, we have a 240 volt outlet. We also have four additional 120, uh, 120 volt 20 amp circuits here. So you have loads and loads of plugins back here. We also have LED box lighting as well as the box link system up there. And again, you have the power tailgate. So it does go up by itself, which is certainly a pretty, pretty cool feature as well. I want to show you the uh, charge port real quick. So the charge port is only on one side. Now you saw the other side where I showed you the badging, but this one is, is actually the uh, charge port door. So you can open this up and you can access your charge port. And it has a little status indicator here that will tell you the uh, status of the charge. And stepping inside of the Lightning, we do have an intelligent access door handle, as well as the door entry keypad right there. And standard on the Lariat model, we do have full leather seating with the sort of gray uh, insert here as well. We also have the sort of brown accent stitching. They are power operated, both driver and passenger. And here on the dual panel, we do get uh, more of that nice soft touch leather material here on the armrest. We'll also have more of that brown accent stitching on the upper armrest. We also get nice wood grain trim here. So have your power window controls, power mirrors, and power locks with the three-way memory function, power folding mirrors. You have the Bang & Olufsen sound system, which is standard on the Lariat. You get plenty of storage there in the door. And to the left of the steering wheel, we do have a host of controls here. We have your automatic headlights, we have your LED mirror spotlight, your bed lighting, you also have your tailgate release and your front trunk release, which I will show you in a minute. Also have your power adjustable pedals right there. So lots of stuff there. But stepping inside of the Lightning F-150, I will show you the key. So this is Ford's intelligent access key fob. It looks very similar to a regular Ford key, uh, although we do have the front trunk release on the key fob with the uh, rear tailgate as well. And push button start. Uh, first thing you'll notice is the huge screen here in the middle, uh, which I will show you in a second here. I do want to start on the steering wheel though. This is a leather wrapped heated steering wheel on the, uh, on the Lariat model. We also do have blue cruise. So we have your blue cruise controls. That's adaptive cruise control. We have your sensors up here that we'll show you. Uh, we also have your uh, lane centering, all your volume buttons here. We have controls here for your fully digital gauge cluster, which is actually standard on uh, every single Lightning model, which is certainly pretty cool. We also have your phone and track buttons there as well. 
and you can scroll through various things in the gauge cluster. We have your trip information. So you have trips one and two. We also have truck info. So you can go through here and view tire pressures. We also have your pitch and roll. We have power distribution, seatbelt indicator, and also your driver assistance feature there. We have a towing section. We also have your navigation, phone, audio, and other various settings in here as well. But moving here in the middle, this is Ford's Sync 4A display. This is a 15 and a half inch display, uh, vertically oriented. This is a standard on the Lariat model. If you get the XLT, it's actually a horizontal screen, uh, but this one is the vertical 15 and a half inch screen. It's a hum humongous screen, but all the uh, it incorporates all the controls in it as well. So there's not really any physical buttons. Sort of free up the dash of any any extra space. Um, but starting here on the top here, we'll click the Lightning logo. I will pull up some of your controls and some of your settings as well. Um, but starting here in the drive modes, so we have four different drive modes. We have normal, sport, off-road, and tow haul. And if you scroll down, you can also control the one-pedal driving as well as your uh, e-locker. So you have your electronic locking differential. You can use that. And if you're not sure what it is, you can click the little I button. It'll give you more information on what it is. We also have the 360-degree camera. So we can pull this up and we can access our 360-degree camera with our guidance lines. You can also change the view. We have a uh, bunch of different views. You have cameras on the bed, your standard backup camera, lots of good stuff there. You also have your some of your access buttons. You can unlock your charge port. You have different lights. You have your towing section. So you go in here and add a trailer. So have smart hitch, as well as onboard scales. So this is pretty cool too. It will kind of give you an estimation on the uh, measurement of the uh, weight in your bed. Zone lighting, we have Pro Power on board. So this is a, uh, a feature that is actually standard on the Lightning model. You kind of remember I showed you the outlets in the bed, so you can kind of uh, give you an overview of the power draw that you're using on those outlets. We have the Park Assist. We do have the Intelligent Backup Power, which is a, uh, a unique feature that actually allows you to use the Lightning to power your home in case of a, a power outage. It's a pretty cool feature. Uh, but moving into the settings category, we have a bunch of different settings here. We have your charge settings. So you can go through here and access some of your charge settings. We also have personal profiles, which you can actually link to a key, which is pretty neat. We have your driver assistance features, uh, which include your adaptive cruise control, lane keep system, pre-collision assist, blind spot, crash traffic alert, brake assist, driver alert. So there's lots and lots of good features in here. Um, Ford definitely incorporated lots of good stuff. We also have your vehicle settings. We have more general settings you have vehicle hotspot we have departure and comfort this is pretty neat you can actually uh set different times and different days and it'll have your uh, climate control and some of your settings ready for that specific time if you're again your intelligent backup power so it's ambient lighting so you can go in here and change the ambient lighting uh, and brightness and it kind of appears in the the doors and in your your cup holders and that kind of thing but moving out of there we do have these little a button up here we can click this and this will pull up some of your menus so you have your radio phone navigation your media and as well as your apple carplay and android auto um, you can also access that through some of these quick menus here so say we're in the radio right now we want to access our navigation we can click the navigation and it will load up the navigation super super quickly you also have your trip information you can click that and it will pull up your trip information it'll give you a percentage of what using your energy so you have your climate control you're driving and that kind of thing. Moving down the bottom of the screen, you have the dual zone automatic climate control. Again, so this is only incorporated through the screen. There are no uh, physical buttons for the climate control. So everything is accessed through the screen. Uh, we do have our seat control. We have heated and cooled seats. So we can slide this either way to access your heated and cooled seats. Dual zone climate control. You can access the, that right there. Same for your passenger. You also have a heated steering wheel button right there. And then of course we can change the direction of the airflow. We have our e heater, which will kind of give you an overview of what that does. So lots of good stuff in here. We also have our max defrost, so we can click that, turn it on real quickly. We also have our hazard light, park assist, and the traction control button there. We do have the pro trailer backup assist, as well as the trailer brake controller. Again, we do have the max trailer tow package as well. We also have a wireless charger on the Lariat, as well as the uh, USB outputs down there. And we also get more of that nice brown accent stitching here on the shifter. And speaking of the shifter, so we can actually click that button there and it'll fold it down. Uh, you may have seen this feature before. It's super cool and it's actually standard on the Lightning. 
we can actually fold the console the other way and now we get a nice flat uh, load surface here for the console you can you know eat a lunch or do some work on it and uh, it'd be nice and easy i will show you the uh, window sticker for this particular lightning so we do have a uh, star white exterior color with the dual motor, uh, the all lightnings are all wheel drive. So you notice we don't really have a four wheel drive selector um, because this isn't technically an all wheel drive model. Um, but there's that 511A package. So it's about an $18,000 option, but it does include the extended range battery, which is certainly nice. We also have the all terrain tires and again that max trailer tow package, which brings the price to just over $103,000. Um, I know you're probably thinking, whoa, $103,000. Uh, it's Canadian dollars, so just keep that in mind. And again, this is a pretty loaded vehicle. It's got pretty much every option. Um, there is a Platinum model, but again, it's, that's a little bit even a step above. Um, this is pretty loaded to the max. It's got about $21,000 in options on it, including that extended range battery. And we also get 120 watt, uh, volt, 20 amp circuits up here, which is a super, super high uh, capacity. We also have 12 volt. And again, we do have a dual glove box. You can click that button. It will open that up. So there's your lower glove box there as well. And we do have the Bang & Olufsen sound system. As I mentioned kind of earlier, we have that center channel speaker up there. We also have controls up here for the panoramic sunroof, which is included with the Lariat, as well as the power sliding rear window. Control for that right up there. And looking into the rear seat of the Lightning. Now all Lightning models are only offered as one configuration, as the Super Crew model with the five and a half foot bed. Uh, so there are no other configurations. You can't get a longer bed can't get a different cab. This is the only configuration uh, you can get. Uh, but again, with the Lariat model, we do get the full leather seating with the sort of brown accents here around. We also do get rear heated seats with the 511A package, which is certainly pretty cool. You also get additional outlets back here. We have 12 volt USB and another uh, household style outlet, as well as your rear climb vents, some cup holders. We also do get nice rubber floor mounts back here. Of course, a nice view of that panoramic sunroof. The uh, last thing I do want to show you is the front trunk. So we do have a button under, underneath here. So there's a button underneath you can click. And there's also a button on the key, as I, as I showed you earlier, I do have a button on the key. Um, it will make a couple of beeps just to kind of let you know that it's opening and it will open up with the powered struts. Um, but we do have a, a 400 liter capacity under this, which is pretty cool. It actually acts as a cooler, so you can throw some ice into here and uh, you have a drain right in the bottom there. You can empty it out. Also a 400 pound limit. And we do get quite a bit of space up here as well, which is super, super cool. We also do have another uh, set of outlets up here, four additional with your uh, USB outlets right there. We also have your windshield fluid and uh, we also have lighting on the end of the, the, uh, the lid here. You can access that. We also have some of your maintenance things. So again, your windshield fluid. We also have jump studs underneath. We also have some of your batteries and your, uh, that act the, uh, power your accessories um, underneath this cover here. So you can actually lift this up and that's the battery for your, uh, your climb control and some of your accessories and things like that. Um, we can close it back up. We also get cargo hooks in here. So Ford certainly thought of everything in the front of the Lightning. But unfortunately, this particular Lightning uh, is not for sale. It is actually belongs to one of our sales managers. Um, but if you wanna come check it out, feel free to come visit us at 580 Portland Street in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, or give us a call or visit mcfee4.com. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next video.